Welcome back to our ongoing behind the scenes tour of Parliament Hill. I'm here in the office of Her Majesty's Loyal Opposition uh, with the leader of Her Majesty's Loyal Opposition, the Honourable Andrew Shear. Andrew, thank you so much for joining us for this uh, behind the scenes tour. John, this is a great idea. I, uh, I understand you've done a few of these videos and I'm excited to watch them. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you so much. Now, I understand this wasn't always the office of the Leader of the Opposition. Tell me a little bit about that. So it was, at one point, the Prime Minister's office. And when John Diefenbaker was Prime Minister, he liked it so much that after the election that saw his government defeated, uh, he decided not to move. And he forced the Prime Minister of the day to uh, occupy the third floor, which is right beneath us. And he stayed in these suites of offices. And uh, it's been the Leader of the Opposition's office ever since Dief just uh, hung tight after, after an election. He was quite the character, and, and like yourself, he represented a Saskatchewan riding, but was born in Ontario, so certainly uh, a lot in common there. Well, I'm hoping to follow in the footsteps of Mr. Diefenbaker in a couple of ways, and as you point out, yep, yeah, uh, born in Ontario, but represented a Saskatchewan riding for quite some time, uh, and, and I have a very similar uh, story there, growing up in Ottawa, here in Ontario, and then moving to Saskatchewan. Uh, to get, uh, just before I was married, representing the riding of Regina Capel. So I will be the second Prime Minister from Saskatchewan if the uh, Canadian people uh, so choose. That's great. Now this is sort of a unique office, lots of history in it. Uh, tell me a little bit about some of the uh, paintings and stuff that we see around the walls here. Right, well, uh, as I mentioned, since it was the Prime Minister's office, probably the Prime Minister that had the greatest impact on the offices was Mackenzie King. He was Prime Minister for quite a while and occupied the, this particular office. So uh, along the the, the tops of the walls, you'll see murals depicting kind of a, uh, a throwback, uh, recalling times of chivalry, and you'll see different uh, you know, knights on horseback and some, some uh, words of moderation and toleration. You've got the provincial crest as well in, in several of them. One of the archivists has uh, suggested that Mackenzie King actually had his mother painted in to the uh, fresco with, the, uh, with an angel, so his mother's face is actually on that angel. Interesting. Now, of course, Mackenzie King had a lot of unique characteristics and was a unique character himself. Tell me a little bit about this secret passageway or secret doorway I've heard a little bit about. Well, uh, if you look at the fireplace on either side, you've kind of got a, uh, a similar, very similar uh, wall. And uh, there's a little bit of a, uh, I suppose, an arc on the top. And on the left side of the fireplace, it actually is a, a false panel. And if you push on it, it leads to a small passageway that leads into the next office. And the story goes, the story that has been recounted to me, that if the Prime Minister at the time didn't want to uh, meet who was out there, often, uh, often the press would come right up into the offices or if there were, uh, you know, just anybody didn't want to deal with that day, he would just slide out that way, which leads to the very back and out down the stairs. So he could get out of the office unseen and not having to deal with whatever it was that he didn't want to deal with that day. No, certainly, you've never done that, have you? Not at all, actually. I, I, I came in that way once <laughs> when Ron Ambrose uh, was interim leader of the party and she appointed me the house leader. She was making the announcement and uh, and so she had the media all set up in here so they, have, they had me come through that door to be introduced in the new position as house leader. Much better to sneak in than to sneak out. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well sir, I want to thank you so much for uh, helping me with this video, for giving us this behind the scene tours of the office of the leader of Her Majesty's opposition and just appreciate so much for, for doing this. Well thank you. I mean, we're moving soon. I got to tell you, this is a beautiful office to work in. It is probably though the hottest office on Parliament Hill. I don't know what it is about this, but uh, every May it just, uh, the air conditioning is very poor and, and the sun beams in. So I'm hoping that the West Block that we're moving into uh, has, uh, has managed to address that. Well, thank you so much. You really bet. appreciate it. Thank you.